Uh, have you ever pondered about the unseen threats lurking above our heads in the vastness of space? Today we will explore the silent but growing menace of space debris. Imagine countless fragments of defunct satellites and spent rocket stages, all hurtling at breakneck speeds in the vacuum of space. As our reliance on satellites for communication, navigation and observation increases, so does the density of these celestial cast-offs. Yet a far greater danger looms. Picture a domino effect in space, a self-sustaining chain reaction where one collision begets another, creating even more fragments. This is the Kessler syndrome a potential reality that could exponentially increase the amount of debris in orbit, making the heavens a minefield for our space endeavors. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the risk of collisions between satellites, spacecraft and space debris escalates. This is the unseen threat we must acknowledge and address. Our future in space depends on it. In the cold, silent void of space, a single collision can lead to a cataclysmic chain reaction. Picture this, an old defunct satellite, forgotten by most, collides with a speck of metallic debris. The impact shatters the satellite, transforming it into a swarm of high-speed projectiles. Each fragment, in turn, has the potential to collide with other satellites or pieces of space debris, leading to more fragmentation. This is the domino effect of space debris, a self-sustaining chain reaction that could rapidly increase the density of debris in orbit. As the debris field grows, so does the risk to our satellites. These vital tools enable our modern way of life, from weather forecasting to global communication and even national security. Yet in the face of this escalating threat, they're as fragile as glass. A single collision can result in malfunctions, loss of communication or complete destruction. But the potential fallout reaches even further. Imagine planning a space mission through a minefield. Each launch, each maneuver would have to meticulously navigate this hazardous obstacle course. The risk of catastrophic failure increases impacting the feasibility and safety of space exploration. Consider also the International Space Station, our home in the cosmos. With escalating levels of debris, even its orbit might have to be altered to avoid potential collisions. In this dance of destruction, even our most advanced technology stands vulnerable. The domino effect of space debris is not just an issue for spacefaring nations, but a global concern that requires our immediate attention. As the debris continues to multiply, we face a challenge that extends beyond the pull of gravity. The task of mitigating space debris is a daunting one, a problem that grows exponentially with each collision in the expanse of the cosmos. We are currently employing various efforts to manage the debris. These range from tracking systems that monitor the movement of larger pieces to proposed debris removal technologies that aim to capture and deorbit the defunct satellites and fragments. However, as the number of debris increases, these efforts become akin to trying to empty an ocean with a bucket. The complexity of the issue is not just about the sheer volume of debris, but also about their speed and trajectory. Traveling at speeds up to 28,000 kilometers per hour, even small fragments can cause significant damage. Predicting their paths and preventing possible collisions is a monumental task that requires constant vigilance and advanced technology. Moreover, the resources required for managing space debris are immense. The development, deployment and maintenance of debris tracking systems and removal technologies are not only technologically challenging, but also financially taxing. In a scenario of maximum space debris, these efforts would need to be scaled up significantly, demanding more manpower, more technology and more financial investment. The more debris we have, the more intricate the task of cleaning up becomes. It's a challenge that requires global cooperation, innovative thinking and a commitment to preserving the final frontier for future generations. While the stars may seem distant, the repercussions of this celestial congestion could hit closer to home than we think. Picture the International Space Station, our outpost in space, an emblem of international cooperation and scientific advancement. Now, imagine it, surrounded by an ever-increasing cloud of space debris, with the risk of catastrophic collisions escalating with each new fragment added to the mix. These hazards are not restricted to the realm of the astronauts aboard, though. Consider the potential dangers to us, the inhabitants of Earth. Most space debris, when it re-enters our atmosphere, is incinerated by the intense heat. But as the volume of debris amplifies, the chances of more objects surviving this fiery descent increase. These survivors could plummet to Earth, 
posing a distinct risk to both people and property. Think of it like a game of cosmic roulette, with every piece of debris a potential bullet. And while the odds may currently be in our favor, the game gets riskier with each additional spin of the wheel. The reality is our ventures into space have left a lasting imprint, not just in our knowledge and understanding of the universe, but also in the form of an ever-expanding cloud of debris. And if we're not careful, the remnants of our space explorations could very well rain down upon us. In the worst case scenario, we could end up encasing our planet in a self-made celestial prison. Imagine a future where our blue planet is shrouded, not by clouds, but by a swirling mass of discarded satellites, spent rocket stages and fragments from collisions. This is the potential of an orbital debris cloud. This cloud wouldn't just be an eyesore, it would make certain orbits unusable due to the high risk of collisions. The space around our Earth could become a no-fly zone, a minefield of human-made hazards. This would not only hinder our ability to explore the cosmos, but also limit our use of satellites, hampering everything from weather forecasting to global communications. The irony would be stark. Our very ambition to reach for the stars could end up chaining us to our own planet. The freedom of space could become a distant memory as we trap ourselves within a self-made cage of debris. Our very ambition to reach for the stars could end up chaining us to our own planet. As we stare at this growing menace, the call to action becomes more vital than ever. Addressing the space debris issue is not just a task, but a necessity for our survival in space. It's a global issue that necessitates international cooperation, responsible space practices and cutting-edge debris mitigation technologies. We must foster a culture of sustainability in space to protect our valuable assets and ensure the safety of our missions. The sustainability of our future in space depends on how we tackle the challenge of space debris today. If you found this video interesting, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more crazy theories. Till the next time.